I'd say to you is at TVO, you know what you should do? You should say, we're going to hold all candidates' uh, debates in prime time. And leaders, you show up, or we'll just put a big cardboard picture of you here. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be a very gutsy thing to do. And I'd ask you to, to set the wheels in motion I'll, and do I'll point it right you to the now. I'll point you to the control room right after the show. You can go talk to our boss. And All righty. I think it would be forward. good. So you, you have haven't. canceled all affordable housing projects in this province. This province has never been without an affordable housing program for the lowest income people since the war. The Adams Mine would have been the worst environmental catastrophe to go ahead with. Um, it's, it's a huge mine. This landfill would have no lining. And they're counting on the water always flowing into this huge mine. It's 50 stories deep. And they're counting that water will never flow out, only in. And the, on that principle, they're saying it's going to work. But it's cracked rock, what they call fractured bedrock, just like Walkerton. And the farmers to the south are worried. Garbage collection, number Look one. Look at that, eh? Look at that. That's because I think of the it's great, though. It's great because it means everybody's talking about it, and uh, we're looking for best practices. Let's invest in our local communities. For example, gas tax. Why should Ottawa take all the gas tax and put it in their pocket or give it in, in tax cuts? Why shouldn't some of it, it's from transportation, go back into public transit? I will testify to being here in Washington and feeling the sense of anger and fear uh, that is still in that long shadow cast by September the 11th. But the job of a best friend sometimes, and we should be a best friend here with some backbone, is to talk to your neighbor and say actions out of fear and anger may produce worse consequences than you can imagine. And here's the problem. We don't have a national public health system for when diseases arrive in our country or emerge within our country. We're facing West Nile. We're facing a number of, of diseases that we should be prepared to respond to. I think what we want to be sure of is that the government has is conducting a review, as, uh, as Art just mentioned, that there would be a review to say, look, how, is there anything that we could do that would make this tragic result less likely to occur. We went right across the country and we found people wanted investment right now. Investment in, in our cities and communities, investment in education, investment in health. I know there, everybody's angry about the scandalous behavior of the Liberals and the years of broken promises, and so are we. It's just that we decided to do something about it. We know an election's coming. Let's get some results out of this House of Commons. I didn't come up here to play partisan political games. I came up here because I saw from my own city of Toronto that there were so many things needed and there just wasn't action. There were promises, promises, promises. Uh, our job is to try and produce the positive results. That's what I'm going to go to do and the House of Commons will be composed by the decision of Canadians. I think that when parties are competing to do the right thing on the most important issues, this is good politics. Well, I believe that Canada should be that voice for peace again. Once we were. Lester Pearson and others. And people can say, oh, well, you're uh, dreaming in technicolor. First of all, that's the way you should dream. Uh, that's, uh, uh, you should think about the possibilities. And secondly, the world needs Canada's voice again. Why do you smile so much? <laughs> I'm uh, just an upbeat, optimistic individual. It comes from my dad.